Don't you ever ask them why? If it's the hit TV show Glee wrapped up its groundbreaking run in March, and now star Matthew Morrison is back in some familiar territory on Broadway. Morrison stars as J.M. Barry, the man who wrote Peter Pan in Finding Neverland, and he joins us now from New York. Good morning. Hello, Beverly. How are you? Well, I'm well, thank you. Great to be able to catch up with you about this. This is, and I mentioned, you know, it's kind of, you're going back to Broadway. You practically started your career there. Is there a little bit about kind of going home with regard to going back to Broadway? Um, it is, but, it, you know, I, I kind of left Broadway, you know, seven years ago. Mm -hmm. I, I guess it was, my last show was uh, South Pacific in 2008. And I kind of left New York. I, I became, I, you know, I came to New York a, as a 19-year-old, and I kind of became a man here. But this show, <laughs> Finding Neverland, has so much. It's so significant, so, <laughs> significant because I feel like I, I'm a kid again. I mean, it just—it's totally the theme of the show and stuff. But I feel like I, I'm coming back to Broadway, and I just get to feel like a kid again. I'm just playing on that stage. It feels so comfortable and I'm having the best time. You know, it's such an incredibly touching story. It's also, you know, a really demanding role, and you've got, I mean, you've got a number of vocal performances within it. How do you keep yourself ready, prepared, good vocal tunes, ready to go? Uh, well, it, it's, it's work. I mean, this is a, it's a tough job. I sing 14 songs per show, um, you know, and, and a lot of times we do two shows a day. Uh, so that, it's a lot of singing, so I am, on vocal rest a lot. My <laughs> my wife and I, we have this little uh, whiteboard that I, I write out <laughs> stuff to her and and but she's getting good at reading my lips now and stuff. So it's it's uh, we're figuring it out. <laughs> and what's what's the feeling like? I mean, doing the show day after day and you you know you kind of get a feel for the, the audience in the in a little while. But every audience is different. Every audience is different, but every every performance we give is different as well. The, the thing I love about the theater the most is that. It's a living, breathing organism. You know, this is, uh, it, it's, it's, you can never recreate the same show. Um, and that has a lot to do with the audience you have and, and, and the performance we're giving, how, how we're feeling that day. You know, it's, uh, it's totally different every night. And I think that's the beauty of theater is because as an audience member, you can co go to see the same show several times and you'll see a different show every single time. So for me, it's, it's a chance to, every show is an opportunity to, to do it right, to, to have the perfect show, which never really happens, but you always <laughs> find things and you you know get to be like, oh, that happened great that night, I'm gonna do that again. And just build and build upon your performance and there's there's no other medium like it, it's pretty amazing. Wow, and that's why we love Broadway. Let me ask you something, because it's, you know, you had a, a fairly quick transition anyway from Glee to, um, to uh, Finding Neverland, but it, did you, I mean, it was, I'm sure it was bittersweet in the sense that, you know, you were sad to leave because you spent all this time with folks, but also you were excited to move on. Yeah, well, my, the last season there, I, I kind of knew that this, this show was going to happen for me, and so, it was great because you spent a lot of time on set just kind of hanging out and stuff. So that was a great opportunity for me to, to really, you know, get into the, the script of Finding Neverland. And, and I was, <laughs> a lot of the people were just like, what are you doing? Because like I, I was, I would walk around set with like speaking in a Scottish accent, just trying to, to work that out. <laughs> and uh, so people, I was having fun with people and, and people, but it's kind of cool because they were all seeing me do this process and now they've all come to see the show. And they're like, oh, okay, I get it now. So it, it was, uh, it was fun. Finding Neverland, Matthew Morrison. Great to be able to catch up with you. Congratulations on the show. Thank you, Beverly.